Welcome, beloved souls, to a journey into understanding the powerful spiritual consequences of truth, guilt, and redemption. Today, we'll explore why someone who has wronged you may feel an almost supernatural pull to come clean. This isn't just about them feeling guilty, it's about a much larger divine process at work, a process that impacts their conscience, dreams, and ultimately, their spirit. Imagine someone who has hurt you or kept secrets from you, tossing and turning at night. They try to sleep, but a heavy weight presses down on them, a weight they can't shake, a sense of unease that feels like a boulder on their chest. This discomfort, though it may seem mysterious, is actually the divine force of truth working through their conscience, urging them to confront their actions. Studies show that people burdened by guilt experience real physical symptoms. This goes double for anyone who's crossed paths with a person of profound spiritual energy, often called a chosen one. If this describes you, know that your energy holds a unique, almost supernatural power. This energy doesn't just rest lightly on others. It unsettles those carrying secrets or hidden wrongs. As we dive into these reasons, you'll see that their restlessness, sudden confessions, and even streaks of bad luck are all part of a spiritual reckoning, a journey of redemption they didn't foresee but can't escape. Divine Pressure Weighing on Their Conscience When someone wrongs a person with a pure heart, it's like inviting a relentless weight onto their soul. It's not just guilt, it's divine justice pressing down, whispering that the truth must be acknowledged. They can try to ignore it, but the universe has a way of amplifying that pressure, tightening like a knot in their chest. Small frustrations start to become unbearable, and even sleep eludes them as dreams turn restless. This isn't just a mental struggle, it's a divine call for them to make things right. The pressure they feel is relentless, and it won't release them until they own up. You are part of their spiritual test. In hurting you, they've faced a test, one that touches their deepest spiritual levels. Sometimes people are brought into our lives to challenge us and reveal where we need to grow. They may not consciously realize it, but their spirit senses that what they did was more than a simple mistake. It's as if they were given a choice, a spiritual crossroad to either act in integrity or fall short. Facing you, confessing their wrongs, becomes the path to passing this test and evolving spiritually. Without doing so, they'll feel stuck, unable to grow beyond their own actions. Your energy disrupts their spirit. If you're someone with strong spiritual energy, your presence can be deeply unsettling to someone hiding the truth. It's as if your very being becomes a mirror, reflecting back the weight of their actions. When they're around you, they feel exposed, uneasy, and restless. This isn't just discomfort. It's almost physical, as though they can sense you seeing beyond their words straight to the truth. They may even find themselves feeling agitated or defensive because your energy is drawing out their hidden guilt. This disruption is constant, a growing storm they can't escape until they admit the truth. Confession becomes their only path to break bad luck. You might notice that after they hurt you, things in their life start to go wrong. It might begin with a missed opportunity or a minor inconvenience, but soon, their bad luck seems relentless. They face setbacks, financial strain or repeated conflicts, and nothing they try seems to improve their situation. This isn't mere coincidence. It's as if an invisible force is pulling their life off track, creating chaos and frustration. Eventually, they come to realize that their misfortune is tied to what they've done to you. Confessing becomes their last hope to clear the slate and find peace. An unseen soul contract pulls them toward you. In some cases, the bond between you and this person may go beyond this lifetime. There may be an unspoken soul contract at play, a spiritual agreement made before either of you arrived in this world. This contract means they're meant to face a test through you, and their growth depends on acknowledging their wrongdoing. This isn't about a simple apology. It's about fulfilling a higher purpose, completing a lesson that will bring growth to both of you. Ignoring this pull only leads them to feel lost and disconnected. 
their spirit won't find peace until they fulfill their part of this journey by coming clean. They fear your spiritual power to see through them. Over time, they come to realize they're dealing with a force beyond what they're used to. It's not just about keeping secrets from anyone, it's keeping secrets from someone who can see beyond the surface. They sense that you have a sharp intuition, the ability to feel what others try to hide. This fear grows, creating anxiety as they begin to believe that any day you might expose the truth they've kept hidden. It's almost as if they can sense an unseen force urging them to own up before you do it for them. This fear drives them closer to confession, hoping it might lessen the spiritual consequences. Spiritual consequences defeat their ego. For many, admitting fault goes against their pride, but in this case, their ego is powerless. They start to feel the weight pressing down on them, something beyond guilt, an energy that demands they surrender. It's a divine reckoning that strikes at the core of who they are, dismantling the mental barriers they've built to deny their wrongs. With each day, the weight becomes unbearable, and they realize that owning up is the only path forward. Confession becomes a moment of humility, an acknowledgement that they're up against forces bigger than their own ego. The energy of truth begins to haunt them. The lies they've told create a heavy energy that soon becomes suffocating. They can try to bury the truth, but eventually, the weight of it grows too large. They start experiencing recurring dreams, unexpected flashes of memory, and even sudden anxiety. The truth becomes a haunting presence, a reminder of what they've hidden. The only way to silence this energy is to face the reality of their actions, confess to you, and let go of the deceit. Their spirit seeks your forgiveness to find peace. Deep within, they begin to understand that your forgiveness is unlike any other. It represents a unique form of grace, a healing that goes beyond words. Without it, they feel a heaviness that clouds their spirit. Life becomes dull and joy seems unreachable. In confessing, they don't just want to ease their guilt. They're seeking an energy cleanse, a spiritual balm that only your forgiveness can provide. This act of humility becomes their quest for freedom, a step toward unburdening their spirit. They yearn to earn your respect once more. Finally, after facing their wrongs, they understand what they've lost. Your respect. This is a realization that stirs something deep within them a desperate urge to lay bare their mistakes in hopes of redeeming even a fraction of that respect. Their confession isn't just about clearing the air, it's a step toward transforming, realigning themselves with a more truthful path. They hope that by owning their actions, they might open the door to reclaiming a place in your life, not as a burden, but as someone who can walk alongside you. Ever wonder why someone who hurt you suddenly feels compelled to confess? Discover the divine forces that weigh on the hearts of those who've wronged a chosen soul. In this enlightening video, we dive into the powerful reasons they can't find peace until they come clean, from spiritual reckonings to the haunting pull of truth. If you're ready to explore the mysteries of karma, forgiveness, and soul connections, hit subscribe and join our journey. Let's elevate our spirits together. Don't miss out on the wisdom that can transform your understanding of human connections.